Qatar begins its observance of the holy month of Ramadan. The Ministry of Interior launches an investigation into the building collapse in central Doha. Qatar's first ever airspace is established in full. Stick around to find out more. And in sports, Al Dihail and Al Said are set for the knockout clash in the Uridu Cup semifinals. Hi, it's Fatma, and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar began its observance of Ramadan on Wednesday night, marking the first day of fasting on Thursday. Many mosques in the country are offering special programs and lectures during the holy month providing an opportunity for people to deepen their understanding of Islam. Qatar's Ministry of Interior launches an investigation into the case of the collapsed building in the Al-Mansura neighborhood in central Doha. Since the tragic collapse of the building on Wednesday morning, two women and a total of 12 families have been successfully rescued from the rubble. Search and rescue teams were able to extract the individuals who were then transported to a hospital to receive essential medical attention. Individuals who did not need medical attention have been housed in a hotel and are receiving psychological care. And now, Qatar's first ever airspace has been established in full following the successful conclusion of the International Civil Aviation Organization's plan. Dubbed as a historic verdict for aviation in the Middle East, the United Nations Special Agency for Aviation agreed last year to establish a brand new first ever airspace for Qatar known as Doha FIR, redrawing the skies of the world's airspace map for the first time in decades. After the transition to the new airspace, Qatar is now the quote, responsible authority for the entire field which combines airspace, ground, and international waters. And finally, Al Duhail will face the star-studded Al Said in this season's Aridu Cup semi-final at the Qatar SC Stadium on Thursday, with both teams expecting an intense match against one another. Al Arabi and Al Muslal will also kick off for the semi-finals this Thursday at the Jassim bin Hamid Stadium. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.